our plastics journey has just really started here at K22, but our Creator Talk journey is now coming to an end with our final Creator Talk for K22. And I'm very happy that I'm joined here by Christelle Monfroy and Charlotte Grand from Schneider Electric and Joel Wuizou. Yes. Was that correct? Correct. <laughs> yes, Thank I mastered it. Fantastic. We're going to talk about this product, and this product has been on a sustainability journey in the past couple of years. We're going to go much deeper into detail. I know that from my home, but uh, Charlotte, you can explain a little better what this actually is and what's it used for. Yes, it's called uh, an MCB. Actually, it stands for Miniature Circuit Breaker. So you have uh, examples uh, over here, one pull, two pull, three pull. It's uh, exposed in your electrical panel, actually. It enables safety for your homes, uh, like uh, Resi 901 we're going to talk about for residential or for offices or buildings. Okay, so, so that uh, product is a real problem solver, so to say, and you are also trying to solve a problem with this product, namely the problem of plastic waste. Right, plastic waste is um, 250 million globally. Only 20% is recycled at the moment by mechanical recycling. And uh, in Europe, we have a 30 million um, metric ton of plastic uh, waste, and only a third is uh, recycled mechanically at the moment. So we have uh, space to get much more recycled plastic into um, our products with um, chemical recycling. Okay. So this is what we are offering with Resin 9 now and with Schneider Electric. The product that's actually coming out of this chemical recycling process, does it have the same parameters, the same features like a normal product? Absolutely. The performance, product performance, remains exactly the same as a standard uh, fossil-based product. Um, here, in our case, it's made from pyrolysis oil from um, uh, end-of-life tires, mm -hmm. and uh, it allows to have um, same performance, but uh, much better low, um, perf product carbon footprint, and um, and uh, yeah, as I said. This has um, been on quite a journey, uh, this product, and Christelle, it started with a proof of concept. Um, and how long did it actually take to, to go from proof of concept to this series product? Charlotte, if you want. Uh, I will just start maybe yeah, just to remind some, uh, some context. It actually uh, began in 2019 while uh, Xavier Huot uh, from Schneider Electric came at this very same event and he was presenting the proof of concept at that time. So it's yeah. a super great opportunity that we are back at the same event uh, this year with the real product that you have in front of you, uh, Resi 9 for residential application and Act 9K for building applications. And uh, it's been a long journey, yes, because of some tests that we have to perform, but uh, Christelle, I will let you the floor. Mm -hmm. So indeed, we are doing a lot of tests. So obviously first on the compound, then we are using this compound to mold the part. So that's the molding test. Then we are assembly the part together mm -hmm. to make the product. Mm -hmm. When the product is made, we are testing the product mm -hmm. in our laboratory and many technical tests are done to ensure um, to be compliant with the high standard in mm -hmm. terms of safety and performance. And clearly it's our priority in Schneider to make sure to ensure the same level, at least the same level of the current, the old Virgin uh, Virgin pro the product. Old product made from virgin plastic. Mm -hmm. And um, it took only one year to realize all these tests yeah. thanks to the high engagement of Schneider Electric, which is placing this uh, kind of topic about sustainability as a high priority. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, as, as Joel explained, this is made from uh, chemical recycling. Why does chemical recycling play such an important uh, role also in your overarching sustainability strategy? So the first, uh, one of the first challenges we have faced at the beginning of the project was to find a raw material source available on the market and with the right color, and here we are talking about white color, mm -hmm. and with the right performance. As mentioned that before, the priority of Schneider is to, uh, to be compliant with our high standard. And one example of uh, high standard required on our product, mm. and it's the case for electric coal products you, um, globally, it's the glow wire. The, the glow wire set, test has a need to withstand 
to 960 degrees. Mm -hmm. So that's where <laughs> the raw material found in BASF uh, mm. has been satisfied our requirements. Yeah, and um, maybe just especially to, to mention that uh, thanks to this process, uh, we are really able uh, to keep, let's say, the mechanical properties of the compound remain stable uh, during the time and reliable during time. So it's uh, super important for us. Uh, and the properties, uh, like you said, are, remain the same as in a virgin grade. So mm -hmm. obviously it's a very good solution for us. Yep. Yeah. Joel, from, from your point of view, uh, being on this project, on this journey for, uh, for the past couple of years, what were the biggest challenges in making this reality? M making um, uh, with Schneider Electric, it has been easy because um, the important point is to have the, the all the team um, in going into this uh, recycling uh, topic, and uh, our two CEOs at BASF and at Schneider Electric really strongly believe in sustainable uh, development, mm -hmm. and therefore the whole team of BASF and Schneider Electric has been working together. Mm -hmm. So I think that was uh, the way we have been able to go so efficiently and fast into um, the, from moving from the proof of concept to the production uh, mm -hmm. at uh, Schneider Electric. Uh, Charlotte and Christelle, would you agree to what Joel just said, that we were really fast? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, obviously, and I think this is what you mentioned at the beginning, only one year to mm. qualify yeah. this is yeah. <laughs> quite amazing. <laughs> That's a great record. Yeah. <laughs> what are, what are the, the concrete environmental benefits of the process and of going into this direction? Yeah. The, the main benefit is to have a lower impact material. Mm -hmm. uh, from now, uh, our devices are going out of, produc uh, of the production line, are made with at least 56%, so 56% of recycled plastic content. And these plastic content are coming from post-consumer usage. Mm -hmm. And each time we are using one kilogram of recycled plastic, of this plastic, instead the virgin plastic, we are saving approximately 30% of CO2. Mm -hmm. In other words, if we are talking about our product on our MCB, um, we are saving each time we are selling one MCB made uh, from recycled plastic oh, okay. instead of okay. virgin plastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are saving 14% of mm -hmm. CO2 equivalent mm -hmm. on its manufacturing phase. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe one thing to add on top of that is that uh, one of the goals, also one of the benefits, is to reduce the amount of plastic waste, basically. So, as Joel mentioned at the beginning, here we talk about post consumers, so end of life tires. Uh, so that's a, that's a first step towards this. And uh, for, for us then, regarding the, we have all of these benefits, but what was key for us as well was to explain you uh, the changes. And mm -hmm. so uh, you could uh, come closer afterwards, but what you will see on the side of the device is the logo laser printed to let you know that there is a change. Uh, you can see also the 56% on our website uh, on the product data sheet. Uh, which was key for us and also what you will see is that we have uh, complete the story with the packaging by switching from white to brown so to keep the brown natural color to avoid the whining process and also it means that here we this packaging are made with at least 70 percent of recycled content so it's uh, also a good way to close the whole story around yeah. uh, around sustainability as well that's fantastic um i mean schneider is very committed when it comes to um, being more sustainable and also in ensuring a sustainable energy supply to everybody on the planet, actually. Tell us a little bit about how projects like this contribute to your overall sustainability plan. Yes, indeed, uh, as you know, everybody has in mind today the climate change, mm -hmm. and everybody wants to act towards this, including Schneider, of course, and it's in our high priority. Uh, all our customers are requesting us to find new innovative technology to reduce, to help them to reduce their carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. So in electrical world, one of the possibility is of course to reduce their energy consumption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the role also of Schneider. But not only, we want also to help them to reduce their carbon emission in their building. So that's where green material, yeah, okay. uh, as yeah. for example the recycled plastic, which is a green material, helps them to reduce their carbon footprint in their building. Schneider has very strong, strong ambition mm -hmm. uh, with a target to use 
50%, so 50% of green material mm. by 2025. Okay. And on top of that, with this project, uh, on those kind of devices, we have already switched 400 tons of plastic, so from virgin to recycled plastic. And here we are talking only about the biggest part of this product. We have worked on the white part, the outer protection uh, of the devices. And it's already 400 tons, so yeah. it's the beginning of the journey. Yeah. Good achievement, and uh, I think also the message we wanted you to remember is that uh, we really wanted to change the way we are producing, okay? We just want to keep one rage, a recycled one. We are not creating new references. The idea is really to change the way we produce our devices, mm -hmm. and instead of just using virgin material, uh, go to recycle one. And I think yeah. it's a good step towards a better future. Joel, you heard the 50% target for 2025, yes. uh, and I'm pretty sure you knew it even before yes. this talk. Mm -hmm. How confident are you that you can help Schneider Electric in reaching this I we, will, we will be part of this uh, journey with Schneider Electric, that's clear, and we, will, uh, we have already a lot of things uh, restarted, and, con and we will, uh, I'm sure we will meet in uh, K2025 uh, with some good news uh, together. Uh, and we are looking forward to this, um, this journey together, for sure. I hope so. You're absolutely invited. This is a journey that started back in 2019. It's 2022 now. We have a serious product. And in 2025, we're going to help you reach your 50% goal. That was our last creator talk for today. Thank you, Christelle. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Joel. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. BASF. We create chemistry.